Time now for my three picks. This is when me and the almighty coin pick three games against the spread as we get ready for some fun November football. But before we pick this week's games, let's go ahead and take a look back at the games that the coin and I picked last week. So let's see here. Yeah, not a great week for yours truly. I lost two out of three. Yeah, TCU, they not only uh, did not cover that seven-point spread, but they ended up actually losing straight up to the Cyclones, who continue their miracle 2017. Difference maker on our picks between me and the coin, that North Carolina State-Notre Dame game, the Irish won and won easily covering that touchdown spread. I, of course, thought NC State would get within a touchdown. That didn't happen, but at least I get one victory. Uh, that was the Penn State-Ohio State game. Penn State lost, but I like them getting six and a half. Of course, they lost by just one point. Coin also liked Penn State. So, Entering the first week of November with five weeks to go on our picks. Yeah, my lead's been reduced to one game. I'm at 14 and 13, and the coin at 13 and 14. All right, let's begin our picks for this week. We're going to start in the Big 12, and oh, oh my gosh. What is an ugly thing at the bottom of the screen? Oh, yeah, it's the two teams that are playing each other this week. Baylor and Kansas? Yeah, I mean, both, both teams are winless in the Big 12, and Baylor, they haven't won a game all year long. You know something? I'm not picking that piece of shit game. I refuse to prostitute myself in picking Baylor and Kansas. You know why? Because it's Baylor and Kansas. Forget it. We're not picking that game. Let's move on to another game in the Big 12, okay? And <laughs> much better. Much, much better. Okay. Iowa State at West Virginia. The Cyclones, top 15 in the country in the month of November. It's not a dream, ladies and gentlemen. It's reality, and Matt Campbell deserves to be Big 12 Coach of the Year and a serious candidate for National Coach of the Year. Cyclones have to avoid that emotional letdown after the upset win against TCU. Hand of the Form Frogs, their first loss of the year, but now the Cyclones have to keep focused going on the road. But here's the thing, though. Iowa State, playing on the road, winning on the road, that hasn't been a problem. Ask the Sooner fan. If Iowa State can't win on the road, they can. And then, by the way, they won in Lubbock against Texas Tech, beating them by 18 points, holding the Red Raiders to just 13 points. That's pretty good. Iowa State, very solid at linebacker. The Cyclones don't give up big plays either. And offensively, you know, these last few games during this incredible run, they've been efficient. So I think the wrong team's favored. So give me Iowa State plus the two and a half. If the coin lands on heads, it likes the favorite tails. It's going to go with the underdog. And the coin this week, likes West Virginia. It's going with the favorite. All right, let's move on to the Big Ten. And just like Iowa State, Ohio State has to guard against the emotional letdown coming off a huge win. In the case of the Buckeyes, it was their biggest win of the year. Come from behind fashion, getting revenge on Penn State, who at the time was number two in the country. Plus, they did a good job in containing Saquon Barkley, a Heisman Trophy candidate. But now you're asking yourself, can Ohio State keep that emotional high going entering Iowa. I don't think that's likely because, I mean, where's the motivation in playing the Hawkeyes? I mean, Iowa is unranked, not really on the Big Ten radar, but you have to watch it because the Hawkeyes are at 5-3. and three. Remember, earlier in the year, they almost beat Penn State, and they did beat Iowa State in September. Ohio State's favored by 18 points. I think that's way too many, and here's another thing too, to consider. You know how many points Iowa has given up per game this year? Only 17. And you're going to give me 18 points. I'm going to take it. Give me Iowa plus the 18. I don't know if Iowa can pull off the upset, but I think they can keep it competitive. Give me the Hawkeyes plus 18, and the coin is going to take Iowa as well. And then finally, moving to the Pacific Northwest in Pullman, Washington. Yes, that's where the Cougars played all their games in the month of September. That's why they had five home games, won all of them. And then October, they had some road games and didn't fare as well, losing a couple. But they're still hanging in the top 25, and they're taking on a Stanford team that played much better in the month of October than they did in September, thanks in part to Bryce Love, their fantastic running back and Heisman Trophy candidate. But entering this game, we do not know if Bryce Love is going to play. He's had some ankle issues, game-time decision. It's a slim point spread. The game's in Pullman where Washington State has played a whole lot better. So give me the Cougars in this matchup, minus the two points, and the coin. It's going to take, it's going to take Washington State. 
Well, time for me now to go to my real job, but just a reminder, my post game of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State will be on Saturday evening, so make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.